watching Easy Way TV, powered by EasyWayNetwork.com. Do you like country music? Yes, okay, that's good. This time I'd say, I do. Do you like country music? Do you like country music? I do. One more time, you like country music? So when I sing the song, that's your backup part. All right, so let's try one time. Do you like country music? I do. Oh, that was nice. All right, okay, let's do that. Country music, I do. it's a favorite of mine. Me too. Puppy dogs and pizza, the sound of music makes me cry. What would it take to be your guy? Whatever kind of love you need, I'd be willing to try. Yeah, I keep on hauling all over myself. Falling all over you I take another shot straight to my heart Every time I do I love the sun in your hair The glow in your eyes, it's true I keep falling all over myself Falling all over you Here we go Do you like old movies? Yeah, it's a favorite of mine. Butter top corn, Clint Eastwood, and hard French fries. What would it take to be your guy? Whatever kind of loving you need, I'd be willing to try. I keep falling all over myself, falling all over you. Shot straight to my heart every time I do. I love the sun in your hair, the glow in your eyes is true. I keep falling all over myself, falling all over you. I don't want to come on too strong, I don't want to wait too long. Just your name, honeymoon preference, and your favorite song. Well, I keep falling all over myself, falling all over you. I take another shot straight to my heart every time I do. I love the sun in your hair, the glow in your eyes, it's true. Falling all over you I keep falling all over myself Falling all over you I see you smiling right there I like that I, I feel safe when I see people smile What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another awesome episode of Easy Talk Live of Easy Way Interactive and Easy Way Live. We're doing it live with John Michael Ferrari today, and John Michael Ferrari is one of our Easy Way Wall of Fame members. And John is an award-winning uh, artist, and he is just doing some great, great, great things. And so a um, little bit about John. Uh, known him for a long time. Definitely a big shout-out to his manager, Pepper J., uh, the man, the the woman behind the man, the one, the one that's making the magic happen. Uh, John's a multi, multiple award-winning songwriter, singer-songwriter, entertainer. John Michael Ferrara writes emotional storytelling and love songs, different genre songs, uh, country songs, and experiences. People, it, it touches their heart. Sophistication, 
Uh, he, people say he's a childlike wonder. And after a lifetime of performing other people's songs at an encouragement of his music producer, Pep, with the encouragement of his music producer, Pepper J, John Michael Ferrari has written and arranged scores of original songs across several genres. Okay, he's an award-winning artist. He's on multi-chart-topping uh, uh, music with radio and everything that he's doing. And his most recent album is actually My Heart Can't Breathe. Very awesome track. As tracks hitting number one and number two on both country and pop radio charts, including Masquerading in the Night and My Heart Can't Breathe, and his love wedding song, Paint You a Love Song, is starting to hit the radio charts all over the place. And so producer Pepper J in the, her early 20s and the 12 Across Songs was awarded Triple A Album of uh, the Year in 2020. And so the producer's choice honors. Uh, so you guys can look up John Michael Ferrari, go to the Easy Way Wall of Fame, uh, learn a little bit more about him, support him, press your comments. And without further ado, let's bring in John Michael Ferrari. Hey, uh, engineer, let's get that... Um, that, that easy way of music goes, we can give that proper introduction. Yeah, baby, there we go. What's up, John Michael Ferrari? Hey, hey. I like that music. How you doing, brother? Welcome, welcome hey. to the show. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me, Eric. Love to be on your show. We're here live in Nashville right now. It's, and, oh, um, you're in Nashville. Okay, Nash Nashville TV. You know, you know, uh, my friend, So Cozart, and um judge joe brown are actually in the tennessee area memphis tennessee and, and then uh so cozart is a big you know producer you'll recognize him from white man can't jump uh saved by the bell uh numerous projects and he's doing a huge actually now now that i think about it, he's doing a huge mess music festival in nashville tennessee yeah. I, gotta, wow. I gotta get you guys connected silk i know you're watching brother you need to link up with uh my man john michael ferrari yeah so, we're gonna be here until the 13th i i think because we're doing several shows. We're going to, to the famous listening room tomorrow night. We're going to be at the listening room. Starts at eight o'clock. If you're in the neighborhood, you know, come on down and, and uh, we're going to have uh, great entertainers down there, myself included. And, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. The listening room. Okay. That sounds, that sounds pretty awesome. Uh, so we got a couple of people that are on live right now saying, Hey, lovely Subash Kumar uh, Sharma. Thank you, Subash. Appreciate it. And uh, how's it going, my brother? Hey, James Dunn, so glad you could join us. Uh, and Pepper J, your your awesome manager uh, behind you. Uh, congratulations, John Michael Ferrari, on a performer of the year, Easy Way Words Golden Gala. And that's what we're here to talk about today, John. Uh, you actually, not just the performer of the year, but you were actually our uh, Rising Star Award recipient uh, in 2020. And uh, what... What happened? What happened after you got that award? Anything, anything positive uh, come come your you know, come your way the easy way? Well, you know, once you gain one award, it starts to open up a little, the door a little bit, and people start to recognize you, your your ability, what you're doing, your songs, and then it opens up another door someplace else, and they're just little doors, and you go past them. But each door is important because the next door wouldn't open without that previous door. So everybody has a little. Uh, you know, uh, uh, credibility with, with helping me get to where I'm at now. And it's wonderful because you and uh, all the other people who have opened up the opportunity for me to move up, it's been absolutely amazing. You know, I, terrific. Well, we, we go way back, man. Uh, I, I, I remember when you were uh, my photographer and you were doing all those amazing headshots and uh, making me look the part. You guys see me in that uh, black and gold suit. Uh, doing all those cool poses, whatever. This is the man. This is the man, Mr. John. <laughs> it made me look, made me look so good. And I had the easy show uh, with you and Pepper J. And I mean, we go way, way, way back. Yeah. And now you're chart topping superstar, award winner, well, and everybody wants you on their stage. Well, you know what happened was, you know, I got to the point where I was doing cover songs and touring, uh, and I just got tired of it. I, I just got to the point where uh, I wasn't happy, wasn't satisfied doing that. And I thought, what else would I want to do? I took up photography, and I did that for a while. And it was fun, I, you know, doing photography. And then Pepper came to me one day, and she said, you know, why don't you write some of your own songs? And I thought about it, and I, and I thought, yeah, I guess. I mean, I understand writing, songwriting. I understand music theory, and I mean, uh, educated in that. So I started to uh, 
write some songs and uh, we started to get some traction just a really easy simple traction but it wasn't until we went to nashville and recorded the songs that everything really started to take people started listening to what what uh, we were doing and started giving us opportunities so you got to have a product once you have the product and people can listen to it you know that determines how you can start to move forward and people will open up doors for you because you know i found people will do that if they really like what you're doing if they if they find it valuable you know if it's not they're not gonna open up that door very wide and there's a lot of no's i mean no matter how good your your stuff is people are going to say no but that doesn't mean you have to stop it just means you have to find another way to get a yes that's all there it is. I love that. I love, I love that. I love that model. I love that way of thinking. Uh, you know, the, if the doors, if the doors don't open for you, then get a crowbar and, and <laughs> bust, down, bust down the, uh, the doorknob, you know, and, 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 you know, I always, I always say if you, if you continue to kick the doors, knock on the doors, uh, uh, do, do jingle bells outside the doors. Eventually somebody is going to open, open that door. It's just really a matter of your persistence. Uh, so John, let me ask you a question. Um, would you, what do you, what do you think, uh, makes that makes someone success? Is it about who, you know, uh, or is, is it about how hard you're working? Um, or is it about, um, who knows you? I think it's all of them. I mean, at different points, uh, it's who, you know, but it's also who recognizes you and your persistence. And, but you have to have a good product. I mean, you have to know what is your goal. And I tell other songwriters, because they ask me, uh, you know, how about what's a good way for them to make it onto the radio charts? And I said, well, first of all, you have to know your goal is do you really want to get radio charts or do you just want to write songs that your family and people will enjoy listening to or playing at a local club? Because if you're going to write for radio, there's a certain format, certain structure that you have to write in. And if you don't write in that structure, you're not going to get radio format. You're not going to get radio play. You just won't. Our first chart song, So Beautiful, had three verses in there. And our session leader said, John, you know, if you want to have radio format, you're going to have to drop this third verse. I love that third verse. But he was right. And when he brought it to my attention and Pepper and I decided, well, let's drop it. And had we not dropped it, that song would have never got onto the charts. Because of that one thing, it started off at the bottom of the chart, but it made it all the way up to number two. Of the national charts that's how important radio structure is so you as a writer have to know what is your goal if it's to get radio play then you're gonna have to write in that format and that structure not everybody wants to do that but if that's what you want you know your goal and then you can go after it so and how, how on, a, on a branding perspective john how important do you think it is to have a theme song when you're being an influencer when you're doing like for, i'm gonna play my theme song for instance i want to get your opinion and and you know this, this is i use this for hype music you know before i'm on stage or if i'm if i'm doing this for you know with with, with uh any type of uh video sizzle or whatever uh do you think that this song matches me well and and yeah. do you do that do you do you um do you do that for other people and did you say no what is it yeah 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 no it, it matches you because you know I, I remember when at our parties you'd come up and do you'd sing some rap songs that's you <laughs> I mean, you got a way of doing that, and and the way you rhyme things together so quickly. I mean, someone give you a topic, and you get up there. I mean, at our parties that we used to have at the house, you come up there and and you do your stuff, and that's you. I mean, you you nobody can do it better than that. You know? Well, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, it's, well, actually, uh, you know what we should do, John, is we should have a little bit of fun. We got a lot of viewers watching right now; they're starting to tap in. And guys, remember, if you share, if you care, if you show us that you uh, support us, comment below make sure that you let us know that you're sharing so we can shout you out uh, a couple of people we want to shout out on today that's supporting is flash the flash family uh he's been sharing like crazy and uh, we also james dunn i believe that they've been sharing thank you so much for for sharing as well as a big shout out to sabash kumar shamar um so let's have some fun john what do you think i'm gonna I'm I'm play my music or we can do an acapella you do the hook <laughs> and i'll rap <laughs> okay, you, let's just come up with something about the fans. Let's talk about the fans, and then I'll rap about it, and then you do the you do the hook, and they can post their comments what what, what they think. We'll make this. Well, I mean, I like to have fun when I do interviews. It's not you know what I mean. 
You want I to hear that? Hook. And, I, and I got it when you were, when that uh, you were playing your intro song. I, I, I there was a hook. What was I singing that Pepper? Okay. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> okay. So so sing it. Sing it. You do the hook. Let's perform. Let's have, let's go ahead. Go for it, and I'll, I'll go with you. It's alive. 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 Ooh, it's alive. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> it's alive, guys. That's what happens when the magic happens. I guess it's my turn to just bust me rapping. Oh, you know what? We're going to make it happen. Everybody know. Come on, start the clapping. All right, everybody out on Facebook. Yo, it's all good. Yeah, the face just got shook. I got Michael John Ferrari. Yo, you know what? And I'm not sorry about what I'm about to say with everybody. Yo, you don't, we don't play. And you know, we're going to do it the easy way. But you know what? Hey, you got to get paid. When it comes to this industry, listen to me. I got my man, John, with the incredible ability. Every time he takes the guitar. Yo, man, I can't believe how big of a star that you've gotten. It's all good. But you know, it's never rotten when it comes to your music. And everybody's like, oh, my God, I wish I could do it. Like John Michael Ferrari, because it's a song. What was it? What was the hook? It's, it's a alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's yeah. alive. <laughs> see, see, this this interview was alive. See, that's what you got to do, guys. You need to just have fun right off the spur of the moment. And that's, you know, that's actually how hits are created. How most yeah. hits are created are actually doing what you guys just, just saw. Uh, saw right there. All right, so let's get into it, John. Let's get into your interview. Uh, you know, you're you got performer of the year and and you were actually nominated and you got the most votes this year, 2022 Easy Way Awards, Golden Gala. You're you have songs top top topping on the charts right now, and you're killing it in Nashville. So where are you recording your music? Uh recording at Larry Beard Studio, uh, called Larry Beard Group. And they are so good. And this is another thing I tell songwriters. Don't go to your friend's home studio. If you really want top professional sounds, you have to go to a professional studio. And I mean, it's everybody has a nice studio and you can get some nice stuff out of, of that. I have my own studio. I use it just for demos. I don't try to master my music. That's a real art. If you're an artist, you know, do your art, use the your studio for demos, but you got to find a good studio with good players, good session leaders, and who are top of the business, who have had many songs where we record. I mean, you have Garth Brooks and you have all these top people. Uh, I mean, anything, anyone that you can think of, they record there. And, and that's where we go. And we're lucky, we're fortunate we found them. And they're terrific. So when you go there, you're going to get you have to compete with the people who are out there. So when you listen to what we're doing and the quality of what we're doing, it is up there with everybody else at the same quality. If it's not at that quality, they're going to dismiss your, your material and they're not going to listen. They're not going to listen to it again. So if you want to be in this business, you know, you, you've got to have those standards. you got to spend yeah. the money, yeah. spend you, the money. It's all about the quality. You definitely got to have the quality. I agree with that 100%. So yes. hold that thought there, John. Everybody, we're going to go to a commercial break. And thank you to everybody that's tuning in. Guys, remember, it's alive today with John Michael Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Eric Zuli, and, and we'll be right back after this commercial break. And don't forget to press the share button as we're on this break. We'll see you soon. Close attention because this video is going to revolutionize your business. My name is Adam Chandler. Not too long ago, I decided that I was sick and tired of having to use expensive tools made by greedy tech companies. Not only were they costing me hundreds of dollars per month, but integrating all of them with one another was a technical nightmare. You'll get immediate access to the Funnel Builder tool, an email autoresponder and text message follow-up system, an appointment setting tool, Facebook and Instagram integration, a contact management system, an app for connecting with leads on the go, and a sales pipeline for moving your prospects through your sales process. You will love the digital co-pilots. And the best part, you can test drive the system for 14 days for just $10. It's a web-based system, so no installation is required. Plus there's a 100% money back guarantee. Back guys, 
say we are back with John Michael Ferrari. If you're just now tuning in, we with we are with chart topping superstar John Michael Ferrari, who's been on multiple covers of magazines. He was actually the cover of uh, of Easy Way magazine. I don't remember exactly uh, uh, when, but it was uh, 2019 or something like that. Yeah. For his song "So Beautiful" and all of the albums and everything he's created, and also a little shameless plug for myself. I just, I just made the cover of Wow magazine, so shout out to Wow yeah. magazine. And speaking of wow, we got a guy that is going to definitely wow you to death. And John Michael Ferrari has been on everything you can think of from Spotify to Amazon to Reverb Nation. And he's top, he's charting the, 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 the top. He's at the top. And so many people want to know how to do that. So many people want to learn how to get their music to be able to be that successful. Um, so give us one tip that you think is the main thing that made the radios, uh, uh, the DJs, the radio part of your career take interest to actually be able to play you on, on a radio without having to do the pay to play thing. Cause I know personally yeah. that they just liked your music and they just grabbed it. Well, it, it, there are several things. It's not just one thing, but I will tell you, and I tell anybody who's going to go into the studio, even if you go into the best recording studio and you, with the best musicians and the best session leader, you need a producer. you got to have a producer. And because they're the mouthpiece for you. They understand what the, the what you're going to put together, what you're going to put down. And the producer works with the session leader. Session leaders in control of all the musicians. Everybody works together. But a producer has, uh, uh, he, he knows or she knows what the product should be and how to keep it online. Uh, you as an artist don't always make the best decisions because, you know, it's like, they look. They have you look at a bunch of photos. Say which one should we use, and and it's hard for the artist to know because he'll pick the one he thinks he looks the best, but that's not the best one. The best one is whatever the producer says, and you may hate that photo, but the producer says no. This is the one that's going to be. We're going to use. This is the right one. This is the right song. This is the way we're going to do it. They know they have a, a, a certain feel for things, and you have to be able to turn that over. The problem is many times an artist will get in its way and, and stop the whole train. So, well, I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't like that. And everybody's trying to help this artist become a winner. And the artist is like, no, I don't like that. And they get in, they get in their way. So you have to have a good producer, take control. Uh, I mean, it's not like you don't have a say. But when it comes time to be at the studio, everything should already be worked out. The producer's in charge. They say what's going to happen. They and if I, I as an artist, I think, you know, I'd like to uh, add or change something there. I go to the producer. In my case, I go to Pepper J. I say I'd like to make this change. She will go to the session leader and say we'd like to try to make this change. He will interpret that to the, to all the players because they speak the same language, and then they make those changes because it's a very fast process. Have a good song. Have a good structure. Know your goals. Have a good producer. That's the hardest thing to do is find a good producer. Sometimes it will cost you, but you can't get away without spending some money. You have to be able to spend some of the money, invest in yourself. You're going to have to pay for your own studio, pay for the session leaders, for the musicians. And you're going to have to put some money out there. You know, you're, Nobody's going to put the money out there for you. And that's a big problem for a lot of musicians is they don't want to spend the money. Any any suggestions on on how you actually make money as an as an artist, besides uh, bookings and getting a good booking agent or whatever? Like I know that uh, the digital way of doing it and actually getting a good digital digital distribution deal um, is one of one of the best ways. But again, you have to kind of count on your team. But great great advice. And we actually are putting uh, what you're saying at the bottom of the banner so people can see it. Um, so before you answer that question, John, I actually want to point out a couple of people that are supporting you here. We got Tony Taylor saying cool stuff. Uh, we got uh, Flash, the Flash family saying uh, I, I love it. Uh, we got Gr uh, Rich Greenwood saying he's a great guy. I met him once. If you want to say hi to anybody, feel free. Uh, Sophia R R Ortiz says hi, Johnny. Um, and uh, Tony cool. Taylor says hey. Sophia, she's my uh, singer. We're, uh, we're actually, she sings with me. Uh, and we plan to bring her to uh, Nashville this trip but it didn't work out but we're coming back in february and we plan to bring her with us she's uh she sings excellent harmonies with me she plays bass guitar she drums uh she's uh she's funny she's a delight to have on stage and 
And many of the shows we do around the Vegas area, she we bring her along with us. Well, Sophia, if you if you wanna if you wanna join us, uh, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, and pop um, the the link here in the uh, in the chat if you wanna uh, come on and say hello and and uh, thank you so much for sharing. By the way, guys, we definitely can tell that you're sharing. So shout outs to Tony Taylor for sharing. And Tony Taylor says, "Congratulations, Eric Zillian. Wow, and the same to you for the uh, all your accomplishments, John. A wonderful vibe with both of you guys. God bless with the." with the God, God sign. Thank you so much, Tony. Um, we got over 10 live viewers right now in one place, 20 in another and 30 in another. So people are watching from all over the place. Don't forget to press the share button guys. When you share, we shout you out. So we're here with John Michael Ferrari, a chart topping artist, musician, award winner, and our performer of the year recipient 2022 easy way awards, golden gala. John, why did you choose to go down the direction of country and love songs and like that genre of music? I didn't plan it that way, but I mean, I write love songs. I like love songs. Uh, it's everybody likes love songs, <laughs> but uh, when we came to Nashville, we didn't come to Nashville because I'm a country artist. We came because we just thought this would be the best place. And we found Larry Beard. We liked Larry Beard. We liked what he had to say, how he represented his uh, studio and the people that he's recorded in his studio. You know, and we, we, uh, Pepper called him on the phone. We connected and, and, uh, we liked what he had to say. And so we decided to go with, with him. We came to Nashville and the songs that we did, we recorded on the first album. We added a slide guitar. And even though they weren't really country, but the slide guitar introduced us to the country world. So that's how people started to view me as a country artist. So all the songs that came out, even if they didn't have a slide guitar on there, people saw me as a country singer. But the funny thing is, the people who weren't country saw me as a pop singer, and so we made it onto the pop charts. Now we're a crossover. We're on the cro uh, pop uh, country and what is it, adult contemporary charts. Like you listen to those smooth stations and, and uh, nice little uh, music that they play. But, you know, so we were very fortunate. But let me also tell you, we came here uh, for a different purpose. We came here uh, to see if we could get our songs played and sung by other artists. One of the publishers sat with us, listened to the songs, and he, he listened to it, and he says, you know, they're good, they're unique, and they're different. Nashville is not looking for any of those unique and different. They want what is. If it's Ed Sheeran that's popular, they want Ed Sheeran songs. If it's whoever the top artist at that moment, that's the songs they want. Your songs don't fit any of those genres, but they're good. If you go out as an independent artist, you're going to have a, a really good time because I think people will, will lock into your music. You'll find an audience just for you. And that, that advice was absolutely perfect for us because we went as an independent artist and anybody who's thinking about independent artists, that's a really good way to go for what's happening now. And within two months of that discussion, we were on the, uh, the, the bottom of our first national chart. We were at the very bottom and we were so excited just to be on the chart, even if it fell off after that. But just to see that we were on the chart and it ended up going from the bottom of the chart, I think with the number two. And, you know, that was amazing. And every song almost off that uh, first CD, I think it was six or seven songs, got on the charts. Also, we were radio structure. We went with radio structure and and that had a lot to do with it because the algorithms will will cancel you out. I mean, because the algorithms will play your song and, and determine should it go up to the next step. And then who's going to listen to it from there? If it can't get past that first step, then nobody's going to listen to it. So mm -hmm. that's it. Well, no, thank, you, thank, you for, thank you for sharing all that, John. Uh, really uh, ma amazing advice. Uh, a couple more shout outs we want to we give. I, I, I see some people sharing and really supporting. Uh, Tony Taylor, thank you so much for uh, uh, inviting um, uh, some people. I see that they're kind of like chatting back and forth. Uh, big shout out to, um, to Markeen. I saw Markeen. There we go. Markeen Smith invited Tiffany Tony. Uh, Tiffany Tony just said that love connecting with other creators. 
and she just did a film. Congratulations, Tiffany Tony, on your film in Los Angeles. Just finished your first feature film, Seeking Distribution. We got to talk because I can help you with that. I'm sure John Michael Ferrari and his group can as well. Uh, Sandra uh, A. Smith says, congratulations, John Michael Ferrari. Ferraro, I uh, spelled your name wrong, but it's John Michael <laughs> Ferraro, great info. God bless. And I love that you said God bless after that, uh, uh, Sandra. A lot of people are tuned in. I uh, appreciate everybody. And Sandra also says, I'm an artist as well. As an award-winning filmmaker, as an artist, this is great info. Thanks, God bless. Keep shining. I love it. We are making it happen for other people. That's why we do what we do. Guys, if you don't know, please make sure that you check out easywaynetwork.com. Uh, uh, this is a platform that we have that helps artists, that helps filmmakers, connects you to the best, the best, eliminates your stress and eliminates all the rest. You go to easywaynetwork.com, create a free account, and then you create your, your profile. In fact, John, uh, you have a profile on our Easy Way Wall of Fame. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how that having a profile and doing it the easy way has helped you as an artist? Well, again, like I said, that opened the door to the, to the, to where we, in the direction we wanted to go. I mean, you provided a, a pathway to get to the next level. It's always about somebody giving you that opportunity to come through that next door and that next door. There's always another door. But, you know, that's the wonderful thing about what you're doing, because you're doing that for so many people. And, and if you're not aboard, then you should really come aboard because it is about networking, you know, and you help people with the networking. That's your business. That's what you do. And when we come to Nashville, it's about networking and meeting other people, uh, being there, supporting other people like you do. You support all the people that come to you and you help them to get to that next level. Because you can't make it on your own. You always need somebody to lend you a helping hand. But you have to reciprocate. You can't just be a taker. You, know, you can't come into this business and just be one that, that tries to get whatever you can. You have to find a way. When you meet somebody, you have to find a way to think about how can I help you achieve what you need? Is there something that I know, is there some knowledge that I have, a skill that I have that can help you? You know, and in return, that other person should think of like, what do they have that could help me? So now we're helping each other. And sometimes you'll find that there's nothing that you can do or they don't, whatever you have, they don't need. But sometimes you'll find something and, and what you have is exactly what they need and what they have exactly what you need. So that's why you have to network and find out. You're not going to have it with every everybody, but you're going to find somebody, you know, that's going to be there for you like you are with us. You know, you came to us and Pepper, I know, was working with you and helped you. And then you turned around and started helping us and how we reciprocate. And that's what all relationships are like. Well said. Yes, uh, it's a give and go, share for share, follow for follow type of relationship. And and yes, uh, Pepper, Pepper J and you were extremely instrumental in um, my, my career. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and show uh, a quick little uh, clip. Of, of how all of this gets got started, guys. What you're watching right now, I'm going to actually show you the show that I did, which was on KXLA television, KDOC. Uh, it was called The Easy Show. And this is how it all got started. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Uh, I remember that. Did, did I just take you back, John, or what? I remember it. I was the cameraman. <laughs> you were the cameraman holding it down. And that was and like, then we, had, we were in the, uh, our little uh, garage that we turned into a studio. We all cramped in there. And and you always brought a, your uh, a posse with you, you know? <laughs> we were trying to fit everybody in there. And sometimes it was like in the summertime, it would be so hot in there. 
That was, yeah, that was great. That was I remember those episodes. Yeah. The, it was a blast. I mean, Pepper had guys check this out. Pepper had a like a mansion, like a mini mansion in, in Hollywood. And I was so cool because I brought everybody into my show with this professional studio that was like this private little mini mansion by the pool. So yeah. after we were done shooting in, in, in the in the studio, then we can go out and kind of hang out and little do barbecue and stuff and do photo shoots and stuff. And and I, I was I was like this little big talk show host got a little deal in, in Hollywood. Then I went over to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and Punch TV and all that stuff. And it just kept growing and growing and growing. And now I own my own empire and I'm able to support artists like yourself and give back and return the favor and watch the growth and watch it happen on the wall of fame. And you know, another thing, John, is uh, we have our Easy Way interactive app uh, launching, which I'm going to actually uh, introduce and invite you and Pepper to be one of our first official beta testers to be the first people to come into an app that's going to be very similar and have the same features as Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Amazon, Twitch, uh, click Kickstarter, Clubhouse, Instagram, you name it, we're doing it. It's Easy Way Interactive, baby. <laughs> future is here easy way interactive you got to get the app when it's available it's going to be available soon guys and you see at the bottom the little scroll thing it says go to easywaynetwork.com create your free account and play with us if you like what you're hearing text easy way to five five six seven eight again we're with john michael ferrari a chart topping award-winning superstar artist and our award winner for 2022 the easy way awards golden gala which we do every year we're on a third annual year and we are congratulating him with this interview for winning that award uh so john you know, you 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 covered the country thing. You you've covered the Nashville thing. You've covered the chart topping thing. You've given up some great tips and tricks and great advice. So, how do you feel about Pepper J being your your career manager? Let's talk a little bit about the team behind the talent. Well, it doesn't happen. I'm the artist. You know, I know how to put music together, uh, and, and I can do everything up to a certain level. And, you know, Pepper has a lot to do with my songwriting because when I write a song, this is part of being a producer. She will listen to the song. She'll come into the studio. I'll play it. And she'll say things, you know, like, that's really nice central, but it doesn't go with this song. Uh, you know, like, that lyric is a good lyric, but it doesn't fit in this song. She's very specific. She's not general, like, mm, yeah, it's okay. But, no, she gets nails it right in there. Um you know, and she takes everything to the to the next level. Now, there's the the art, art artist side of, of everything that we're doing as an artist. I write the songs, make the arrangements, and things like that. There's the whole business side, and who she does. Uh, she makes all the contacts. She calls people. She's on. Sometimes the computer first thing in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, she's on there, communicating with people on the other side of the world, Australia talking with people, sending the things out, making dates, making plans, making you know, adjustments. Uh, it's an ongoing thing. An artist, it's very difficult for an artist to do both. And I've never really found too many artists that can, because as an artist, you're really an artist, and that's what you do. You have to have somebody who's a business a manager, producer. There's a lot of hats to wear. It doesn't happen on its own, you know, and and – if you you have to find somebody like that, somebody you trust, uh, and and follow their advice. You may not, we don't always agree on everything, but you know, it, but you know, she'll say something, and I'll say, well, let's go with it and see what happens, and it works most of the time. And sometimes we'll go with what I wanted to do, and it works some of the time. <laughs> so it's a give and take, but we're on the same team. It is. It is a give and take. We, we're you have to be on the same team. You have to be on the on the on the same page. And speaking of music, on the topic of of music and on top of of, of the team behind the talent, uh, I'm going to give myself a little kudos now because uh, I want to talk about a project that I do want to talk to you about, John. Being that you are a platinum member and a client of ours, we're going to be bringing you into a project that we're doing, which is an A-list level project with uh, Bootsy Collins, who actually just got featured on Rolling Stone magazine. A pr project called. Uh, uh, a funk not fight. If you guys remember this song, we want the funk. You guys, you guys know who I'm talking about. So this this guy right here that you're that you're looking at uh, is is uh, Bootsy Collins from the Parliament Funkadelic Group, 
And so they have a, 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 a project called Funk Not Fight. And we are actually hired and we are actually taking care of the podcast portion of Funk Not Fight. And so basically, um, we're going to have you on as a guest, John. We're going to do, do our best, best we can to have you on as a guest to Bootsy Collins and Patty Collins' his wife. And their, so their cause to support stopping stopping uh, fighting and, and, and violence and, and bullying. So guys, you got to really keep your eyes peeled for, uh, for that. Funk Now Fight coming out here real soon. Another awesome project. You saw the logos below, Sync. Uh, they synchronized you with HBO and major, major companies. We got things going on with uh, Dream Cinema Productions. We got things going on with, with uh, major distributors. I, I saw a comment uh, that someone needed a distributor. We have access to the to the Glass Houses, the Netflixes, the Paramounts, the, the, the Lionsgates, the DreamWorks, all that type of stuff. We do have those type of relationships and we do events to actually give you access to the influencers. But again, you got to create your account if you want to play the easy way. So make sure you go to easywaynetwork.com, create your free account, and and make sure you put the name of whoever referred you in that account. Always, always very important. So John, we're going to be uh, closing up here on, the, on our interview. Anything that we might have missed that you want to tell our audience or our, your fans, your friends, your supporters? Yeah, I like to say to the people who are listening, you know, sometimes – we get in a jam and Pepper's trying to figure out something or something's not happening. And, and she'll call you and no matter what time at night, if it's at night, you answer the phone, you're there for her and you stay with her and you've helped her solve many problems that we were having uh, with streaming, uh, with other, uh, what we're trying to do other projects and we can't get things working right. And she'll call you and you get right on it. And I want the people to know that that's the kind of person that you want in your corner, that you can call them and they're going to help you out because, you know, that's the most one of the most important things is getting good information, getting the good answer from somebody and somebody being there when the pipe breaks in your house. You, you got to call somebody. They got to show up. Well, that's Eric. He shows up. You Eric got a problem with something uh, with your social media, you know, call him and uh, he's the one that's going to help you out. It's going to be in your corner. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, I really do. And, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I am, I'm kind of like the fix it man in the social media world. Plumber, Yeah. So all right, guys, uh, I want to make sure that you follow John Michael Ferrari, go ahead and take your phones out and put your cameras on and uh, just take that camera and scan what you see on the screen right now. And that will take you to John Michael Ferrari's uh, profile on our Easy Way Wall of Fame. So you can follow John, get in connected with John and support him, get more involved. And that is why we do these interviews. That's what Easy Way does is connect you to the influencers, help support you on a connection level. We're master connectors and we do it very simply digitally. So make sure you scan that QR code that you see in front of you uh, or go to the Easy Way Wall of Fame and search for John Michael Ferrari. Uh, John, thank you so much. Again, congratulations for your award, Performer of the Year, which is going to be on December 30th. Guys, mark your calendars, December 30th. We have a digital uh, award show where you can be an avatar. You create your own avatar that looks like you, and you can walk around the world, and you can sit in the chairs, and you can walk the gold carpet, and, and there's so many awesome things happening in the easy way sphere. Uh, so make sure you mark your calendars for December 30th. Uh, with John Michael Ferrari as one of our featured performers, I might add, with Bootsy Collins, with Scorpio, with Eugenia Kuzminia, with Who Let the Dogs Out, root, root, uh, Leroy Butler, and so so many others. Uh, it's going to be such an awesome event. It's an event you do not want to miss, and you do have to be on the Easy Way Wall of Fame. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the screen again. Engineer, put it on. There it is, easywaynetwork.com. Create your free account and make sure you put the person that referred you into the uh, referral code or use their referral link. Uh, John, thank you again, man. It was, it's been awesome. I hope you enjoyed this interview, and I really appreciate you and Pepper more than you know. Um, we'll see you on the Easy Way Wall of Fame, and we'll see you on the Easy Way Awards stage. Congratulations on everything. Thank you, Eric. Hey, easy. All right, guys. We will be back with another awesome interview. Make sure you subscribe if you like this, you want to see more, you want to meet more. Make sure you subscribe wherever the button is, wherever you're watching, and uh, click that notification button, and we'll catch you guys real soon. Uh, here's a little bit more about me, and then we will be uh, we'll be ending this uh, this broadcast uh, again. Thank you, John. 
So guys, keep doing it the easy way. Tell your friends. Please press the share buttons. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. And all, as always, before we go, let's say uh, thank you to everybody. Markeen Smith, thank you so much for joining us, brother. Eric is so genuine and authentic, and it is organic. Thank you. I appreciate that, brother. I and then uh, Flash Bugatti says I co-sign, John. I I, I hear you. I, I hear what you say. It's always amazing to get interviewed by Easy. I can imagine the best out there. Thank you so much, Tony Taylor. You're very welcome, Sandra Smith. Talking to Sandra, and Sandra Smith says it's so true. A filmmaker. I'm wearing all hats. I do believe God will send me the team so I can be an artist. So she was feeling what you're saying, John, and uh, you know so many other. I uh, love you too, bro. Thank you so much, Marquine. Guys, if you want to be interviewed. If you want to be interviewed, last but not least, if you do want to be interviewed and you enjoy this and you want to be promoted, email easywaynetwork at gmail.com. One of my team members will get back to us. You do have to be on the Easy Way Wall of Fame. You do have to have an account, but we often do do interviews. We have over, over 30 different podcasts. So if you want to be interviewed, make sure you go to easywaynetwork.com. And last but not least, go to easywaytv.com, our television network on Roku and so many other platforms. Check out the content on there. Great content. Some of John's music videos are on there. Uh, and you can become an affiliate of what we do if you want to make some money. All right. So I'm Eric Zulia. Thank you so much, guys. Love you so much. And we will be back with another awesome interview. Until then, keep doing it the easy way. Do you want to network yourself to another level of success? Sign up for the Easy Way Wall of Fame. We're seeking those with hearts of gold to unite the light with God's chosen elites the easy way. EasyWayWallOfFame.com Easy Talk Live airs every Tuesday at 4 p.m. PST. Past 11 guests include Andy McPhee, Anthony Anderson, Carl Weathers, Forbes Riley, Kevin Sorbo, Ristana Loken, and Quentin Aaron from The Blind Side. Join us for conversations with celebrity guests on Easy Talk. Thanks for watching Easy Way Network, your network that helps you connect with the best of the best with over 40 TV shows, seven networks, and 20 channels. Visit easywaynetwork.com 